Welcome back. The news in details. Egypt on Monday expressed sadness over the death of Iran's President Ibrahim Raisi and his foreign minister in a helicopter crash a day earlier. President Abdel Fattah Sisi extended his sincere condolences and sympathy to the brotherly Iranian people over the death of Raisi. In a statement, the president prayed that the deceased Iranian president and the other departed may rest in God Almighty's mercy and grant their families patience and solace. The head of state also asserted solidarity of Egypt with the Iranian leadership and people in this terrible incident. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri also extended condolences to Iran's government and people over the death of both President Ibrahim Raisi and Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdullahin in a helicopter crash. He called on Almighty God to grant mercy for the deceased and solace for their families and for the brotherly Iranian people. The Decent Life Foundation, Haya Karima, said that in cooperation with Magdi Foundation for Heart Research, it has established an intensive care unit, eight clinics and a waiting area at the Aoub International Center in the 6th of October city. It said in a statement that the facilities will serve patients, adding that the cost of its contribution reached £47 million. This comes within the framework of strengthening cooperation between Haya Karima and the Magdi Aoub Foundation and expanding the scope of cooperation among the institutions of the National Alliance for Civil Development Work to provide the best services for citizens. Foreign Minister Semeh Shukri held a joint press conference with the Greek counterpart Georgos Gerapetiritis in Athens. Addressing the press conference, Shukri said the talks tackled boosting cooperation between Egypt and Greece. He also stressed that both sides had common visions on several regional and international files. Shukri said that Egypt and Greece agreed on an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and allowing humanitarian aid, asserting on the necessity of protecting workers in the humanitarian sector in Gaza. The foreign minister affirmed Egypt's rejection of the forced displacement of the Palestinians and urged on the necessity of protecting workers working in humanitarian field in the Gaza Strip. The top diplomat said that 65% of the humanitarian aid entering Gaza was offered by Egypt and stressed the keenness on keeping Rafah border crossing open since the beginning of the war on Gaza. He revealed that Israeli operations in Gaza are blocking humanitarian access into the Strip. Shukri also pointed that he discussed with the Greek foreign minister several files, including illegal migration, where he reiterated that Egypt hosts around 9 million refugees and immigrants. Welcome back. Egypt's stock market indices fluctuated in the trading session on Monday amid strong selling and purchasing operations by investors in both directions. The benchmark EGX 30 index slid by 0.32%. The EGX 70 index for small and medium businesses gained 0.65%. And the broader EGX 100 index also went up by 0.28%. The market capitalization gained £946 million to close at 1 trillion and 705 billion and with transactions of about 20 billion pounds.